I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. My name's Ken Gallard. I was born May 16, 1922 on a ranch above the Lone Tree Cemetery to Chris and Mamie Silva Gallard, youngest of four ch children, all sisters, Alice, Aldina, and Bernice. I'm fourth generation on my mother's side and second on my father's side. My mother's side all were from Kelly Hill area. Smiths and Silvas. On my father's side, they were, f were a seagoing family from traveling around the world and uh, goes back to the French, Dutch, and Germans, and even the Vikings. On my, my mother, Mamie Gallard, oldest of five, born on a ranch above the Lone Tree Cemetery of the Silva family. My father, Chris, from a larger family of eight on a very large ranch that went clear over from Fairview to the Paramaris Canyon, some 160 acres all told. My father came from the Azores. My mother's father, my mother's father, came from the Azores to America, across country, to work on a ranch uh, up on Kelly Hill, which was from Doncaster's Park clear to the um, uh, Hayward Island area above the Lone Tree Cemetery. As for my father, sailing to the San Francisco, uh, contacted a German couple. They had a hotel right down on D Street and uh, Mission Boulevard. And the old hotel, it's tore down now. And they told him about the properties that were being sold. And he found this ranch in 160 acres, bought it for a dollar an acre. Can you imagine that? I myself, uh, as I grew up, I went to a school called Fairview School, which was on Maud Avenue. It had six grades, one teacher, plus a minus of about 20, 25 kids, and at times, uh, that would be down to 20 because if there was work on the farms that needed being taken care of, the kids stayed home. That was it. And there was no big deal about the kids not being in school. Um, I, know, uh, I know about four, I'm sure of, that used to have to just stay home and work. That was it. I never had to. My father always insisted that I, I always go to school. The first teacher we had, she, oh, she was mean. Well, mean teacher. I remember seeing her in a couple of the first grades. And then we, we got Mrs. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, Miss Elizabeth, I can forget her first name. She, oh God, she was a great teacher, but a beautiful single woman. And she didn't last long because all the f fathers were always down at the Fairview <laughs> School <laughs> and uh, trying to see if they could help out in any way. And the wives said, hey, she's out of here. And the next teacher we got was, by the way, Mrs. Teach. She had just gotten married, so everybody was fine. But that was the three teachers I remembered at, uh, at uh, Fergus School. Fergus School of just one big room. Uh, you would see uh, first grade, second grade, third grade, right up to, and then uh, as you grew older, you would help the teacher. You know, they say, okay, you're assigned to the three over in the first grade, you to the two in the second grade, and so on and so forth. And, and, and several ones of us went on horseback to school. Um, they even had a horse barn in the back. Uh, 
to take care of the horses and on the 10 acre site there grew hay that they kept for the uh, horses and um, to feed them, you know, while they were waiting for us to go to school. Of the uh, kids that were uh, in that school, there are 10 of us still alive, uh, scattered all over uh, California. And I went to school there, I started in 1928 and uh, to 1934. And then I went off to uh, Bret Hart and then Hayward High School. There was a, uh, a club that uh, was formed to, uh, in the area. They call it the Fairview Community Club. And they took care of the school and looked after the one teacher. The club met once a month. Uh, and at uh, that very, a very active club. And, uh, and of the many families and nationalities in the area of, of the club were the Swedes, uh, Danes, Germans, English, Italians, Spanish, Mexicans, Portuguese, Irish, and even Greeks. So it was a mixture of a lot of people. And then they gathered, uh, especially on Hell holidays, at the school and uh, had dances and uh, parties and all kinds of food and and the men were playing cards and drinking wine and while the women were gossiping and talking about whatever was to be done uh, to, in taking care of the school. Um, and of course all of us kids were there to enjoy also and uh, that's where I learned to dance. My folks loved to dance. And uh, my mother taught me to dance, and of course, uh, uh, dancing was uh, something that uh, I've enjoyed all my life. Um, to this day, I still like to go out dancing. Uh, to me, those times and places and people that, that stay frozen in my memories.